It all started with a sunset. Back in preschool, we were given a small art project. All we had to do was paint a simple picture. A tree sitting under the sun with a blue sky. Easy, right? But while I heard these instructions loud and clear, I decided to do something different. I turned it orange, with shades of pink, purple, and yellow. My classmates loved it, but my teacher, well, she definitely didn't like it. She scolded me for not paying attention, and when she sent me home later that day, she made me take the painting home too, but attached to it was a note from my parents explaining my disobedience. My mother was the first to see this note. Honey, why isn't the sky blue? It's a sunset, Mommy! My mother was moved by this, awed by my artistic ability at such a young age. However, this was only one example of the thing that was really happening to me at the time. As a young child, I had trouble with a few things. Sometimes I distanced myself, not playing with the other kids, struggling with paying attention in class, not wanting to make eye contact with other people, mimicking what other people said before me. Concerned, my mother took me to this one doctor, Dr. M. He diagnosed me with PDD NOS, AKA Pervasive Developmental Disorder Not Otherwise Specified. Your daughter has PDD NOS. PDD? What does that even mean? It's an autism spectrum. Normally, it's considered high-functioning, but it's clear your daughter has many needs. But that's not possible. She's so sweet and creative, and she's smart. I believe you, but given her teacher's report and given her behaviors, I'm afraid she might not be able to live a normal life. And if she has any siblings, I'm afraid they may be in a similar situation in the future. I'm sorry. That was the day my sunset turned dark. All the colors were washed away with fear and doubt. My sun sank. Day turned into night. No, not For night. Time, it turned attention. into a void. Look at me when I'm talking to you. A dark place where scary monsters lived. Monsters whose voices filled my head and my heart with doubt, insecurity, anger, and grief. Until you do any damn thing, I quit. I can't help you. You're acting like a stupid little girl. Grow up. Get your head out of the clouds, girl. Time and again, because of all these voices getting into my head, I couldn't help but ask myself, why am I different? Why can't I be like everybody else? The fact that I was different, the fact that I couldn't be like everybody else, it broke my heart. It scared me. It made me feel uncertain about myself. And so I continued to wander in the void, trying to find myself, to shut out those horrible voices. But it didn't always stay dark in the void. Not forever, anyway. Because there were points in time when I found... light. And with that kind of light came a new kind of voice. Never give up. You have so many people who love you, honey. You're perfect the way you are. I love you just the way you are. I believe in you! The world is your oyster, young lass. Don't forget that. I'm rooting for you. You're not alone. You'll never be alone. God made you this way, and he loves you just the way you are, disability and all. Your disability is not a disability. It's an ability. That's what makes you so special. I love your art. You're an awesome memory. You're a straight A student. You're such a talented voice actress. You have a future. Hold on to your dreams. The future is built on dreams. And soon, the void was no longer a void. It was a beautiful nighttime sky, a whole galaxy of stars that took my breath away and lit up my world. And each and every one of those stars guided me on the path that I needed to find 
in order to forge my future. And soon, quite on the contrary to what Dr. M feared, I began to pursue my goals, to live the life that every child dreamed of. I forged friendships. I went to school and college and graduated with high honors. I learned to drive a car. I have a family who loves and supports me for what I do. I developed talents that I never even knew I could do. I even found love. More importantly, I learned that nothing's impossible. That as long as I never give up, I can do anything. While my so-called disability set me apart from dozens of people, it helped make me into the unique person that I am today. It helped me be, well, me. And while I still have a love-hate relationship with the past, with this gift and curse I have, I know that love is the thing that will always drive me forward. The love that I have for my family, for my friends, for my true love. And with that love comes the hope, the passion and strength that I need to carry on with my journey. In the end, my label isn't the thing that defines me. It's my personality, my actions and my aspirations that truly matter. So please, if you learn about my past and about the labels that were given to me, don't judge me for that. Judge me for who I am as a person, as a neighbor, as a part of your world. I still stumble and fall on a bad day, but in the end, I always find a way to get back up, to rise and keep rising, despite all the odds. After all, I'm not called Phoenix Prime for nothing, right? Because I'll always rise like the sun on a brand new day.